Hi everyone and welcome to another quick tutorial with me Michael Tierney. Today I'm going to show you how to use the attractor to get something like this in Cinema 4D. So first let's jump in Cinema 4D and you can just get some objects off um, Turbo Squid or uh, model them yourself. Once you have your two objects here we'll put them in a cloner. So you can have a go up here to MoGraph and cloner or shift and C and start typing cloner in and it'll come up then you can double click it there <clears throat> and pop them both in there once you've done this select the cloner we'll go to grid array and we'll stay with three now actually we'll go up to four and then move this to like 700 just to get a bit of space in between them Then we need to kind of randomize this up a bit. So you can have a go to MoGraph, Effector, and Random again, or Shift and C. Again, and make sure that the Random Effector is inside the Cloner Effectors tab. Um, once we've done that, we're going to right click the Cloner. We need Simulation Tags there, and we'll go to Rigid Body. Dynamic is on, and we'll do the collision to apply to all children and top level. Then we'll get something for the attractor in the middle, a sphere. Um, sphere will make this probably half this, like 50. Let's make sure nothing's touching it. Then we'll go to simulation, particles, and attractor. And we'll put the attractor as a child of the sphere. Once we've done this, we'll right click sphere, simulation tag, rigid body, turn dynamics off, and then we'll just make sure it's solid. The attractor we need to bump up the strength a bit, so we'll put this to something like 5,000 for now. Hit play on that. And then, yeah, it's doing something. So what we need to do, a quick way to render, if we hit here, render settings, hardware render, untick, save. We'll turn this to HD, and we'll just bring it down. If you just tick lock ratio, Bring it down to 800 and then all frames then we can render this really quick and see what's going on there we are and it's kind of attracting there but we need it to obviously attract more so what we'll do right click sphere and we'll remove the visibility on sphere so you, you won't be able to see that in the render so it just attracts in the center and if you hit control and d or command and d on mac and we'll go to the dynamics uh, tab here and the time scale will move down to something like 40 percent and then gravity move down to 100 as well and if we render this, there we are. And then it's just a case of putting in some physical sky. You can go to create physical sky, sky there. Click load sky and we'll just pick one of these. And you can change the time to obviously get some good lighting. Change hardware to physical. And put some ambient occlusion in there. So effects ambient occlusion. If we hit render here. There we are. There's just a case of getting in the angle. Rendering this out. 
and you'll get something like this. There we are, quick, easy tutorial how to use the effector in Cinema 4D. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you're on Instagram, feel free to follow me at tinny.tv. Thanks for watching.